Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Life Unboxed blog show where we talk about all things mom entrepreneur from raising kids to running a business and the ever important one keeping your sanity. So today I am going to show you how to create an email with your hosting account and we are using Bluehost. So if you have Bluehost this is a great little tutorial to show you how to set up an email. So the first thing we want to do is log into the domain. So into our Bluehost account with our domain that we want to create the email with. And once we're here on our dashboard, I want to take you over to where it says email and office. So this is the first thing you're going to see and you're going to think, hey, that's where I create my email. But if you come here, and you have no emails associated with this domain. I have a few associated already, so you're going to see those. But if these did not exist right here, you will be prompted to either buy Microsoft Office 365 or buy G Suite. Um, I personally haven't tried these with any of my domains. I have used Microsoft Office 365 and I do like how it functions. But since we're bootstrapping this business, I don't pay for my email. So if you want to bypass this, the need to buy something, you want to come here to advanced. And you're going to scroll down to email accounts right here. Actually, let's go back real quick. So you're going to see you can set up autoresponders. You can set up. Um, configure your spam filters, um, put a forward on. So if you want to set up a domain email, but you want it to forward to your personal account, you would do that here as well. But right now we are just going to set up a new email account. So we'll come over here to create. So these are all of my current and active uh, domain emails. We are going to select the domain. I have quite a few domains associated with this account, so I am going to select my life unboxed dot blog and enter your name or whichever name you want to use. So my name, I want to make a personal email for life unboxed dot blog. So I have Jody at life unboxed dot blog. Enter a password. And we want to come down here and you'll see storage space. Now you can leave it limited, but I will say 500 megabytes in this day and age is very small, or you can select unlimited and we're going to go with unlimited and everything else you can just leave as it is. And let's create. Okay. You have created Jody at lifeunboxed.blog. So let's come down here. So you can see it's unrestricted. If you want to check your email via the web login, you can and open my inbox when I log in. So th this will be the kind of the web hosting that's used, or you can change your client to hoard or square ma squirrel mail. All right, but we don't want to do that. That is an option though. If you come over here to manage, so this is going to give you all of the settings that we configured when we set up the email. So if you need to change something, this is where you would do that. Okay, so now we're going to connect devices. So what we have here, it tells you how to get the automatic configuration here or the manual settings. I've always had to use the manual settings for whatever reason. And so you would use these here, um, you would select IMAP in your um, email, or in your phone, whatever, whatever webmail service you use on your phone or on your computer, you would uh, select the IMAP option and just configure that from there. So I hope you have enjoyed this 
tutorial on how to create an email in your Bluehost account, please go ahead and like and subscribe to, to this channel because we're going to have more awesome videos uh, about creating a website. So if you have no experience, but you need a business website, I am going to take you through the process of how to create a business website without knowing CSS. And we are going to talk about all things mom entrepreneur. So visit us at lifeunboxed.blog. Look forward to seeing you again.